I eligible for a paid aid? Question of the day. Am I eligible for a paid aid? Some big words in there, but listen, if you stick around to the end, I'll tell you if you're eligible for a paid aid. All right? Now, listen, you may not have known, but the relative that you're currently taking care of may be eligible for a paid caregiver under the state of Delaware long-term health care plan. Now, listen, I'm going to go through this short story with you, but just to let you know, my name is Kion Church. I am the big-hearted caregiver. What do I do? I help distressed family members in the Medicaid long-term health care program to become paid caregivers. All right? So, I know it sounds crazy because we're so used to hearing about our loved ones getting sentenced to a life at a cold stop nursing home only to be taken care of by a stranger because the family members didn't have the time, money, or the resources that it takes to be able to take care of them at home. Now listen, everybody needs to be able to make a living and providing care can be very time consuming, making a decent paying job just out of reach for most voluntary caregivers. So what if I was to tell you that it was possible for you to get paid for the work that you're already doing caring for your loved ones? Hi, my name is Kion Church, and I'm the founder and the administrator of Reliable Aid, Inc. Now, super secret number one, what Reliable Aid, Inc. is, is we are a personal assistance service agency that compensates family members who have had to leave their personal lives in order to move back home and take care of their aging parents and loved ones. And yes, in many cases, we've helped them get paid at the same time. So what I'm going to do is talk to you today about the missing puzzle piece that will allow for you to have a paid aid come into your house. All right, now listen, you may be eligible for a paid, uh, you may be eligible for a paid aid uh, to help you with your activities of daily living or what's more commonly known as the tasks of self-care that are performed by your loved one, either independently with supervision or with assistance. Now, a lot of people always ask me, KC, so what are these activities of daily living? And why I say, well, they include, but are not limited to ambulating. What's that, KC? Well, that's helping somebody move from one place to another. Uh, they help people transfer. What's that, KC? Okay, well, they help people move from a bed to a stretcher, a bed to a wheelchair, a wheelchair to a chair, a wheelchair to a toilet, or vice versa of any of the above, all right? Also, they help with such things as grooming. Every day, you got to get up and groom yourself, you know? You should. I do, all right? So, what kind of grooming do they help with, KC? Well, such things as, you know, helping people bathe, dress, shave, or more personal activities that could be a little difficult, like meal preparation and eating. Two of the most important things, you know what I mean? All right, so a lot of people always tell me, KC, if this applied to me, I would have already heard about it. The problem is that many people believe that caregivers need specific trainings and or certifications in order to do the job, and they exclude the person that's around them, you know? So... You, you might not be thinking as your son, your nephew, your niece, your daughter. You may not be thinking about them as the paid aid because you didn't know that you were eligible under the program. But listen, got a secret for you. Your Medicaid, your long-term health care, you're eligible. If you got a person that's already in your household, what I would like to do is connect a paycheck with their pocket. You know, just bring some more income into your home. If you do not have a person to take care of you and you need some help, what I want to do is hook you up with a big hearted caregiver. Okay, now, all of our caregivers are two-part TB shot tested. You don't want somebody coming in your house and they don't have their tuberculosis shot. They're uh, physically, uh, physically fit, you know. To be able to do a job, sometimes people need help. You know, if I'm helping you up from that wheelchair to that chair, you know, I gotta be right too. So what we do is we make sure everybody already has their physical by the time they get to you, so you know, person's in good condition, they can help you out. Drug screen, one of the most important. You don't want nobody in your house, they all hyped up. You know what I mean? We got to have a drug screen. That was actually put in place by the state, but, you know, I feel like that's a good thing. Uh, SBI background check, State Bureau of Investigation. If you ever know somebody that went to jail, they got what's called an SBI number. So what the state does, they weed out all the people. Everybody with SBI numbers, you already been to jail, you you no longer qualify because you, you're not a big-hearted caregiver. You may be on some crime stuff, and we ain't, we ain't dealing with that. Reliably, it only puts the best people in the household. You don't want to have to uh, be worried about your mom in the shower and then be worried about if the jewels from her safe are going to be missing. That ain't cool. You know what I mean? So got to keep it all in the retrospect. Also, the number one most important thing today is that uh, vaccine 
well, not actually the vaccine, but just to make sure that they don't have a COVID. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of funny on the vaccine thing, but as long as the people don't have a COVID, I feel like they're cool to come to your house. A good negative is good enough for us. They got a good negative. That's cool. Let them come on in there. Absolutely want the best people in your house. You don't want to have to be worried about who's in your house, whether they physically fit, whether they had a TB shot, whether they've been a COVID screen. You want to let Reliable Aid Inc. do all of that, you know? If you need my help, call me, 302-689-3240, 302-689-3240. Also, that's in the state of Delaware only. If you're in another state, man, I probably could help you out, but this Delaware service is not for you. So... If you're here with me and you're a big-hearted caregiver, let me know uh, what state you're watching this at. Hashtag your city, hashtag your state, hashtag your country, hashtag live, hashtag rebroadcast. Let the world know, like, listen, this is a good message. And, you know, the people that need it, they definitely need it. So, look, don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that taking care of your parents is a bad thing. We're doing this to get our blessings. We're not worried about what the... Like my mom used to say, we're not worried about the peanut gallery. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody over there got their own opinion. We ain't worried about that. We're doing this to get our blessings. So, look, I love you because you definitely know how to handle your business and you're taking care of other people and you put other people before yourself. So, me and you, we same kind of people. Uh, check us out, anchor.fm forward slash the big hearted caregiver. That's the podcast. You can take that with you. Listen to it on your cell phone. Listen to it on your computer. Why you in the car on the way to work? Boom. Big hearted caregiver message. Put that thing on. Subscribe to that. I'm going to ask Mr. Deer to put that in the comments. Also, check us out on YouTube. You know, go straight to Reliable Aid. All right? Like, subscribe. Be our friend over there, too. All right? Take care of yourself. I love you. Listen, have a good day with your parents today or your loved ones. All right? Take it easy.